Well, back by popular demand, stage spectacular Cabaret de Paris returns to New Zealand for one night only at Auckland Civic Theatre. Legendary Moulin Rouge star Marissa Burgess joins us now, along with producer and acclaimed illusionist. Do your hand thing, Mike. He always does that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know why I do yeah, that. Yes. I, can, I can do this hand thing too. Michael here. Boyd, welcome to you both. Thank you, so Thank you guys. It is so nice to have you here because we had you here almost exactly this time last year where you were uh, heading out on your tour around New Zealand. How did it go? It was amazing, wasn't yes. it? We went to so many beautiful towns. Beautiful theatres as well. The All the theatres here are so yeah. lovely. Sold out crowds, great reactions. We loved it here, so we had to come back. We Fabulous. We liked Christchurch, didn't we? Christchurch was amazing. We we built the theatre back up again. Yes. This oh, great built audience. It. Yes, we couldn't believe that that mm. theatre had come down. And it was back up again. And it was one of the first things to go back up. So obviously they love their arts and love going out. And we loved all the towns. Of course, Auckland. (laughs) And what a fantastic show to put in that theatre as well. And I guess you've probably been in a lot of theatres in Australia. Is that where you've been touring before you came here? Yes. 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 We've done a lot of the stately theatres from the turn of the century, uh, 1910s, 1920s. And that's when this kind of grew up in the Belle Epoque. So we fit in those theatres very, very well. It's almost like it was meant to be. Brilliant. Marissa, let's talk about you for a moment. You were only 16 years old, is that right, when you left um, Newcastle? I was in a hurry. To, to, head, to, to head to Moulin Rouge. <laughs> 16 years to old. To just get on stage. How did it all come about? What happened? When you're that age and you, you're sort of very clear about what you want to do, because I had decided my career when I was 11, don't underestimate small children. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Good true. to know. Uh, yes, and I just was on a mission and no one was holding me back. Um, everyone was saying, you know, go for it. I was young, but I was kind of prepped. I'd done a lot of touring in Europe. Like, I had seen how people lived because there was no internet in those days. And what about your parents? Were they supportive of that move? They were because I think they understood that I was uh, sensible about it and I wasn't one of these, you know, crazy party kids. I was career-minded. Right, yeah. And obviously it's paid off because look where you are right now. I have my career. Um, Michael, you're the producer of the show. Are you also the illusionist as well? That's How do you right. combine those two things? I love it. It's because I'm really hands-on. I'm not just the producer sitting back watching the show. I'm backstage with the show girls and I'm seeing what's going on and up. There have been one or two occasions where I haven't been able to be there and I get a call from Marissa going, it's just not the same without yeah. you there because <laughs> I really like to be hands-on and make sure everyone's well looked after. Sit in the dressing room talking to Marissa. We drink champagne hours. a oh, bit, yeah. don't we? It's just like a movie. It's, it's a social yeah, event. Backstage it before the show. I know, I was just I thinking. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So I, I love both roles and mm. I also love being on stage. It's my passion doing illusions and being in front of the audience is just um, amazing. And it adds a new element to the show, having the magic there mm. with all the burlesque show girls. And you were a finalist on uh, Australia's Got Talent. How did that go? It was one of the scariest things I've ever done, being um, a professional entertainer and putting yourself on the line, should we say, there with the chance of being, you know, X'd out. Um, I really found it nerve-wracking, but it was really exhilarating too because uh, after the show it was really well received and you don't normally get um, judged on your act. Normally it's applause and here we are critiqued. <laughs> You're true. But it went really, really well. I love the experience. Absolutely we'd yeah. do it again. And you it needed Marissa really well. and a glass of champagne. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did, did need, 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 need. Yeah. Oh, my nerves. I, I want to find out more about the costumes because when I think about the sort of the burlesque mm. sort of style of thing, I just think gorgeous costumes and you and the other ladies that have been in as well. Uh, how does it all come about? How much do they time do they take to make? Who makes they, them? They're artisan, um, handmade, handcrafted items and there's a, it's a labour of love. Because they're small. You, I mean, you they're can't little. really <laughs> put a price on them because you couldn't possibly put the hours and then the materials and everything together. You could, but then no one could afford it. So we do it because we love it. Uh, you saw maybe earlier the girls had these incredible crowns on. They're actually heirlooms from the Folie Belgeaire. They're approximately um, 60 years old. Wow. Oh and wow. they sparkle like the first day. That's the beautiful quality of the of the materials that we're bringing to this beautiful show. Well, no, and that's the thing, is it is, is it, a beautiful costumes, but how on earth do you ship them around and keep them in good shape? You must need oh, like 20,000 huge boxes. Big, yes. Beautiful wardrobe cases, we travel wow. in style. A lot of bubble wrap? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's no very hard. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's ma- you're costumes really Costumes are meant to be in one place on the girl. Uh, they're not meant to be moved hung, anything. They're supposed to be on stage on the girl and that's the best place for a costume, especially a hat. 
But that's the great thing is that you managed to get them to the places so we can come and see this fantastic show. Please some do. cabaret, mm. some magic, <laughs> and some great times. Great times and the beautiful Civic Theatre. I love that oh, theatre. Yes. It is yeah. so majestic beautiful. and the perfect setting mm. for Cabaret de Paris. Absolutely. The show is going to fit in just mm. perfectly there. Well, thank you both so much Thanks for coming for along today. Thank you. Cabaret de Paris is back for one show only at the Civic in Auckland on Saturday the 7th of July. You can check out Ticketmaster for details. Yes, book now before all the tickets disappear. Yeah.